from the EQ proc git up, go to code and then download zip. While the file is downloading, go to RetroArch and run RetroArch. Then load the PSP game with the PPSSPP core. Press the F1 on your keyboard, then go to core options, go to video. And here in the internal resolution, change it to a higher resolution or you won't notice much of, much of a difference in the HD textures. Then scroll down until you see texture replacement and turn it on. And now close RetroArch. After the download is complete, go ahead and extract the textures. Now we need to change this folder name to the game ID. And you can go to the PSX data center to find the game ID and go to the PSP data center. In this case, it's a US game. And then search for the game. Copy the ID of the game. Then paste the ID in the name folder and delete the iPhone in the middle then copy or cut this folder go to your retro arch folder go to saves pppsspp psp create a new folder named textures and place the texture folder inside of this folder inside of this folder there are mods for the textures and if you go inside of the mods you have here several mods and i'm going to install the uh, xbox ui go inside of this folder and then copy these textures and then go back go to the ui upscale and paste the textures inside of this folder now run retro arch load Final Fantasy Crisis Core with the PPSS PP Core and the texture should be working correctly. Hey, Zach, you seem a little on edge. Can you blame me? All this training and no assignments, like they're hanging me out to dry. You must be pretty busy with everyone off base. Uh, off base? Wait, haven't you heard? There's been a mass desertion at Soldier. Huh? 